Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! Well, the today's doll transformation has been actually inspired by art supplies. And this is all has been started a couple of months ago, when in the end of December or in the beginning of January, I've made a beautiful gift to myself, or better to say to my doll art studio. And I've bought really a lot of doll hair. I paid more than, I don't know, more than 400 euro for it. If you've never seen how doll hair that costs more than 400 euro costs this is it. This is such a big box and it's a pretty heavy box also. And here inside I have really all kinds of hair. Different structures, different quality, different color. Really all kinds of doll hair. So now I'm really happy about my doll hair collection. But here I've got also glow in the dark hair. And I was immediately so intrigued and I thought, okay, I have now glow-in-the-dark hair and somewhere, somewhere very deep in my art supplies, I have also glow-in-the-dark paint. Well, I think this is enough reasons to make a glow-in-the-dark doll and this is exactly what we are going to make today. And I've decided to make today a ghost doll. I think glow-in-the-dark ghost doll is going to look very cool and probably she's going to be a ghost bright doll, but I'm not sure about it yet. We're going to see a little bit how it's going to go later. And as a model for this transformation, I've decided to use this tiny Twyla doll. I don't know, I just was sorting my dolls lately in my stock and I realized that I had probably, I don't know, 10 or at least 8 different Twyla dolls. I don't know why I don't really use them in my makeovers. So I've decided to take this Twyla doll and we are going to turn her into a beautiful tiny ghost doll. So, I'm going to start working and like always in the beginning of this video I'm going to ask you to subscribe to my channel and of course hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos every week Friday because sometimes YouTube just doesn't recommend my videos and nobody knows why. So, if you want to stay updated about my new doll repaint videos, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button and of course hit the like button if you are going to enjoy this doll makeover today. So, and I'm going to start working and like always in the beginning I'm going to undress this doll, I'm going to remove her accessories and then we're going to cut her hair very very short. After the hair is gone, I warm her head up using hot air of my hair dryer and after doing this just for 2 minutes I can disconnect the head from the body and remove the rest of the short hair from the inside of the head using my tweezers. And this time, guys, we have really a lot of disgusting sticky glue. Mostly it's a little bit less nasty, but today it's a real chewing gum, guys. And after I've removed all this snot from the inside of the head, I can take pure acetone and remove her original makeup. Thank you. 
Okay, now it's time to give her new hair and it's gonna be this fantastic light blue glow-in-the-dark nylon hair. So let's take my rerouting tool and work on it for a couple of hours. So here is her new hair, completely finished, and by the way, I haven't even tested if this hair really glows in the dark, I should have probably tried before rerouting hair for hours. But anyway, let's now turn the lights off and hope for the best. Oh yeah guys, check it out, it looks so pretty, oh my god, amazing, amazing, really, I'm in love with this effect. So now let's add tacky glue inside of the hat and then I will let it dry for 24 hours or maybe even a little bit longer. So now the glue is dry, you see I've already protected her hair with kitchen plastic and now I'm going to cover both the face and the body with white acrylics because I'm planning to make a very pale ghost girl but first of all I need to prepare the body and I'm going to start with sanding it with nail buffers to remove the glossy top from the surface after it's done, I clean it with rubbing alcohol or with an acetone-free nail polish remover. Just don't use acetone on plastic doll bodies. Acetone is going to melt it. And then I can take my airbrush and I spray the paint on. After this I've sealed the face with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and now I can start working on her new makeup. It's going to be a really special one today because I'm going for a dark kind of demon ghost face and we're going to start actually with her eyes because it's going to be quite messy. I'm planning to use a lot of black color. So the skin tone and contouring I'm going to do later after I finish and seal all these black pastels around her eyes. After I've sealed the black pastels with the sealant I can start working on her new skin tone. And my plan for today is to give her a very light blue skin with a light purple undertone. Her eyes I'm going to make completely black, you know, without irises, without pupils, but I'm going to use actually dark blue and dark purple pencils instead of the plain black. Like this her eyes will look more interesting and the eye area will not look like just one big black spot in the middle of her face. And let's also draw some, I know, some sort of veins to make it even scarier. Okay, I think I'm quite happy with the face and now I'm going to apply a layer of glow in the dark paint to her eyes and also to the veins around the eyes.
On top of it I apply a layer of glossy acrylic varnish and I think I can call this face finished. But this is actually not the only face we are going to make today. I will explain you in a minute what I mean, but right now let's first blush her body using the same light blue and light purple pastels like we've just used for her face. And I think I also want to give her long nails using hot glue. I'm going to give her white nail polish and then on top of this white nail polish I'm going to apply a layer of our glow in the dark paint. After this I take another Twyla doll and a piece of Warbler Thermoplastic and I make a mask for her, like a masquerade mask. Because we are making a very smart and vicious ghost today, who is going to use a sweet and pretty mask face to lure innocent victims into her glow-in-the-dark hands. So after I've casted the mask I cover it with white acrylics and with Mr. Super Clear sealant and then I draw a normal pretty girl face. I'm using the same pastels to make the skin tone because I want to make this mask matching the doll's body skin tone because this mask should look, you know, like its face from the same body. So the color of the mask and the color of the body should be kind of the same. In the end I attach the false lashes, add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips and then I will also decorate the stick attached to the mask with some fine glitter. Mm. 
So now when her face and her body are finished, I can start thinking about the outfit and I have actually already got out my bag with lace to be able to make a real wedding dress for my ghost doll but then I've realized that I have already an ideal wedding dress here in my studio this is a dress that my mom made for sale and six months ago or something like this and this dress it was sold on eBay but it was never paid so I still have this doll here on my studio I was planning all the time to put it for sale again but you know right now I think I'm going to use it myself sorry everyone <laughs> because I think that this dress is absolutely ideal for my ghost bride because instead of uh, having a standard veil it has this big lace Cape. I think it's going to look absolutely mysterious and gorgeous but right now we're going to turn this dress, wedding dress, into glow-in-the-dark wedding dress. I've protected the bottom layer of the skirt with kitchen plastic and now I'm going to cover the top layer, the lace layer of the dress, with our glow-in-the-dark paint. So, the paint seems dry, now let's also check if it really glows in the dark. Oh yeah guys, it looks amazing, really. I'm in love with this glow in the dark effect, why I never tried it before, I don't know. Okay, now I think we can make the shoes and the shoes will also be quite double-faced, you can say. But I'm starting now with making a pair of basic high heels using my favorite Warbler Thermoplastic. Then I take another kind of thermoplastic and I sculpt two mini skulls out of it and then I will attach the skulls to the back of the shoes. This thermoplastic is a little bit softer than the regular warbler and it's really ideal for sculpting. Now 
Now let's cover the shoes with acrylics and then decorate them with some rhinestones. And then in the end I cover the skulls with our glow-in-the-dark paint. So now I think I can call the ghost shoes completely finished. And now I still need to style her hair and I'm not really going to make anything too complicated here. I just want to make her hair more flat, more hanging down. And for this you can use a hot wash or hot air of your hair dryer like I'm doing right now. Then I still want to give her some soft curls and after this I think I will be able to put everything together and then I will make the end result pictures to be able to share with you the end result of my work. So, and here is my glow-in-the-dark demon ghost with two faces. I think this is probably one of the most special and unusual projects here on my channel. I've never experimented with a glow-in-the-dark effect before, but I'm definitely not going to stop, because I've become a real glow-in-the-dark fan after working on this doll. I feel really excited when I see this soft green ghostly glowing after I put the lights in my studio out at night. It looks really like pure magic, let's be honest. So I'm happy this doll is going to stay in my studio for a while because yes, this doll it will be for sale but a little bit later when the world situation turns to better and when I will be able to ship dolls internationally again. So let us pray we will be back to normal in some near future. And by the way guys, what are you going to do when all this zombie apocalypse is over? I don't know, I think I will go on holidays the same day they open the borders for everyone. If I still have money to do it then, but who knows. Even if I have no money then after the crisis, I will go to see my parents at least, because I haven't seen them since December. Now it's still a couple of weeks sitting in isolation for sure. So, and what are your plans, guys, for the new life after the crisis? So, and that was my doll transformation of the week, guys. Please don't forget to support my art on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, and I will see you ready very soon, next week Friday, in my new doll repaint video. Love you guys. Bye!